how to use Miro. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how you can use Miro. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So this is the website Miro.com and over here what you want to do is just simply sign up and the sign up process is very simple. Just simply click on sign up free over here at the top right corner and over here you just simply have to enter in your name, your email address, a password and simply click on get started or you can sign up with Google. I recommend signing up with Google because it is much much more easier and you can sign up with just a simple click off a button so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up and i'll catch you guys once i've done that okay so once you have signed up they're going to ask you about seven questions over here set up your team uh what is the name of your team just simply enter in the name and uh, what will you use Miro for work personal education i will use it for work what is your role just simply choose the role i'm gonna go ahead and choose project management what best describes you choose an option i'm a freelancer what is your company size just simply enter in the size of your company have you used visual tools before i have used them a lot i have used some before i've never used them and how did you hear about miro just simply choose uh you know google search engine or whatever you feel most comfortable with and just simply click up set up and continue over here just simply enter in this email address over here and you can send invitations to your team so i'm going to go ahead and enter in some of my old emails and i'm going to click on send invites so after you send it you know your invitations they will ask you what do you want to do so you have a couple of different designs over here so you have workflow you have research and design, strategy and planning, marketing and workshop, ideation and brainstorming, mapping and diagram. Or if you don't feel comfortable with these, you can just simply click on this and skip this and just try out the tool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna skip all of that and I'll show you how it basically looks like. So once you have signed up and gotten everything ready, this is how it's gonna look like. They will open up the template section over here. You can just go ahead and close that and you can revisit the templates over here on the left side in this toolbar, which on in the second option, here it says templates you can find all of the templates over here so you have all of your options over here so you have select you have text you have stick notes you have shapes you have connection lines you have pen you have comments you have frames and you have upload you can go ahead and add all of those here and then you have more tools over here as well so choose whichever one you feel most comfortable with and you can get started so basically what is Miro? for those of you who don't know it's basically a workflow or an organizational tool that can help you to organize your team so what that basically means is that for example if i go over here into the template section i can see all of the templates that are have been created over here so we have agile works we have mapping and diagrams research and design strategy planning and these are some of the uh, categories that they have over here and uh, over here on the left side you have popular building blocks you have meetings and all of the other you know categories and then you have mirrorverse what is that basically it's the community templates over here meaning the people that use Miro have created their own templates and they've you know you know uploaded them as um simple as that so basically these templates are much more easier to use because people who have you know used these this software have created these templates and then you can use them so you have this one over here it's called lightning decision jam triple diamond customer question board and you can find pretty much anything over here and you can even search for a template over here so if i search for like let's say project management simply search for it and you will have and you will have all these different uh, options over here so you have project canvases project kickoffs you know you have project organizational chart over here i think this looks good so we're going to use this template and we can edit that later on so as you can see it's pretty simple really easy to use and uh, you can go ahead and move around as well so just simply you know right click and you can go ahead and move around and look around the project and you can create them as well so over here this is basically the team leader over here you can click on the name and then down below you have a bunch of different uh, names that can help you differentiate which one is you know which person and then underneath them they have their own teams as well so you can go ahead and start using it so for example uh, let's just say that if I double click over here, I can change the name to project manager and then down below we have the role over here and then we have the name and the email address over here down below so that people can see who that person is. So over here, let me just copy that and underneath role, I will place that shift and enter. And then over here in the name, we can just type in the name of your project manager and it's really simple. 
and you can change all of this as well and if you want to like you know change a bunch of different things then you simply click over here and you can you know change it as well you can move the lines as well and you can even add other people as well so over here if we click on the line connection we just simply click over here we choose this board over here and then we can create a line and you know connect it with another person or you know connect it with the main project lead or you know connect it with another team so for example if i wanted to like you know create another team uh underneath this person all i had to do was just simply you know click over here and just simply click over here and then i can like you know create a small box over here and then i can add in the name over here let's just say uh, backup team and then over here we can enter in the names of the people that are going to be added and then we can even add uh, you know the name and then we can even add you know the emails as well and by doing so we can you know connect this team over here underneath for this person as well which is pretty simple and we can even connect it with anything we want and then we even have you know sticky notes as well so for example if i wanted to you know add a sticky note i can go ahead and add this sticky note over here and i can basically you know leave a sticky note over here for the let's just say this team over here and i can write whatever i want double click it and i can just write make anything i want make sure to check all the projects before sending that way this person or this team or whichever this person is he can you know see the sticky note and he will know that this is meant for him and then we can even add like a pen tool and draw like you know however we choose to like you know draw this person and let's just say that this is this person is not doing a good job or something like that you know we can do whatever we want it's really no it's really nice and we can even add comment section over here so for example if i wanted to write a comment section for this one I will just write whatever I want. Good job. Keep it up. I can write whatever I want. I mean, it can even add a bunch of different emojis as well. And I can just simply go ahead and send it. And as you can see, whenever someone is up over here, they can view this comment and see it as well. And we even have notification as well. We can even turn on, you know, uh, reply to this free comment or start a discussion or whatever, or just turn it off so that this comment is turned off and we have the notification as i said before we can even pin them or copy and delete them as well and we can even share this with other people or with your continuum team as well we can make an entire board as well so it's really nice it's really easy to you know use you can create whatever you feel like you're most comfortable with i think that this one was some one of the most you know simplest way to do it yeah and you have other settings as well if you come over here into the settings you have background grid you have board history you have you know discover apps and tool learning center account settings as well any preferences you have your you know mouse or trackpad suggest object size snap objects and stuff like that like it's really simple it's really easy to use and you can even install this mural app on your device as well like computer or you know wherever you want and we even have the presentation mode and we have votings and we have timer uh, for more options as well we even have chat and video chat as well so i think it's a pretty amazing tool and it really you know helps get organized things as well so i can even add like over here another person type you know type something whatever i want it's really amazing it's really fun to use and and we can even export this board by clicking on this button over here and we can save this image export it as pdf or save the board as template or download the board backup or export to spread and to spreadsheet or cvs and you know however you feel like it and we can even share it as i said before to your teams and directly or one by one and you even have reactions over here like you know people can you know react over here as you can see a heart just went up there like it's really simple it's really easy and it's really fun to use as well i think a lot of people are going to be enjoying this uh tool i think it's really really uh, amazing so so these were all the things you need to know and how you can use the mirror and how you can use its you know amazing tools to get more organized and discover more ideas as well we have ton of different other templates as well so for example this was just like a you know simple one as well we have as i said before we have like amazing different uh, categories we have mappings we have workflows you can choose whichever one you feel most comfortable with or you can create one at your own as i said before you have your blocks over here you have your comment sections you have pens you have lines you have shapes over here 
here you can go ahead and create them and you even have sticky notes as well so everything you, you can create anything over here and it's pretty amazing so if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye